Hello and welcome, I'm Mystical, this is Mystical Game, and we're back into Watcher of Realms just quickly because they've dropped this and it looks brilliant. I'm sorry for all you people on Global and we don't know when we get an updates available on Global yet, but this is coming to the Forerunner and it looks awesome. So tomorrow, um, 1915 UTC minus eight, that's when the update is dropping, compensation 50 diamonds, normal sort of rubbish goes on at the top there. Then we move into this, Honours Gauntlet added a new real-time PvP mode, Honours Gauntlet. Requirements, clear stage 18 of Gear Raid 1, 2 and 3. Rules, two players are matched in real-time to engage in live battles with real-time controls. Oh yeah, looking forward to seeing this, I knew nothing about it. Similar to Arena, Honours Gauntlet has three types of challenges. When two players are matched, they will randomly enter one of the challenges each with unique battlefield effects. Okay, so does that mean that you don't know what you're going into before you pick your team? Um, added a new team composition rule when selecting heroes for your teams. You cannot use the same hero in more than one team. Okay, um, right, so you can't have Ingrid in one, two, three, or Pope in one, two, and three. You'd have to split them up. That's nice. Oh, at least one of your teams wouldn't have a, a Pope or an Ingrid in. Um, added a new team composition rule, right? Uh, add a new commander skill system. Players can add a commander skill when editing their lineup, which can effectively disrupt the opponent in battle. Okay, no idea, but we'll see. Um, we'll probably stream it. When, when I get up on, I don't know, in two days time, I think when this will be live, we'll, we'll jump into it and we'll stream it and we'll have a play around. I'll, I'll put something out to say what time I'm gonna stream and then we'll just go from there. Probably gonna be, what are we on now, Wednesday, th Friday morning, I would imagine for me, so about eight o'clock, uh, very summertime. So whatever that translates to, we'll work that out. And we'll do a bit of streaming and then people can come on and have a look at it. In the match, the player who wins each round will be rewarded with bonus cost. Okay, the losing player will continuously lose HP and the remaining monsters of the round will also be strengthened. All right, so it's like, like a round thing, okay. Right, so if you win the round early on, then you get bonus costs, you can bring out um, more expensive heroes, I'm assuming. Well, if you lose it, you're gonna continuously take the HP loss, the same as that happens now, doesn't it? But the monsters will also, remaining monsters of the round will also be strengthened. So you still got to defeat them and they're stronger. So that's like a double whammy. So you're not only getting the HP loss, but the mobs will also be stronger as well. Okay. Sounds interesting, interesting. Okay, hero, and always getting a buff. Well, maybe. The silver, oh, Sophanium. Okay, well, worm dive. Before, when activated, labor immediately deals 360 magic damage to 10 enemies in range. Then, during the ultimate, labor gains those, increases for 20 seconds, skill cost are those. After, when activated, Labour immediately deals 360 magic damage to 10 enemies, right? In range, that's the same. Then during the ultimate, Labour gains the same damage increase and, in and increased attack range for 20 seconds. Okay, and the skill costs have been dropped as well. So he gets an increased attack range and the skill cost is reduced. Right, Awakening 3, Labour ignores 25, 15 to 25% of the enemy's magic resistance, okay? Uh, others, basic storage for gear will be increased. Oh, that's fantastic. Although I'm not, I'm not overly close to it at the moment with, with the gear recommendations. It makes gear cleansing less of an issue. Uh, on global where they haven't got this and won't get that either that's going to be a blow um daily quest optimized remove the quest successfully enhance gear three times okay adjusted the quest obtain three pieces of gear from gear rate to obtain one piece of gear added the rewatch function for guild wall replays <laughs> yes i know a lot of people have asked for this uh, and improve the replay loading screen uh, okay brilliant added mail notifications when a member defense position is changed in guild wars okay i'm assuming that's to only people who need to know that 
I'm hoping I don't get that notification all the time. So, uh, added unpolished legendary soul stone to a random drop pool of legendary and mythic chests in Drake's Chasm Nightmare 3. And fine, epic, legendary and mythic chests in Nightmare 4. Okay. This item can be used to awaken any non-lord legendary. Ah, right. So, going to see more soul stones drop by the looks of it. But they would be speci or specifically for non-lords. And then your normal soul stone that everyone's hoarding and don't use until they get like a Pope or an Ingrid, I'm assuming, then you can actually then use them for just your lords. That's brilliant. Depends on the drop rate, but I mean, it's a, it's a nice step forward. Added Divine Justice for exclusive artifact for Lady Alexandra. Okay, to the exclusive forge. Nah, that'd be a blow going to be six years before I'm in with a chance of getting her. So I'm, I'm bound to get loads of those exclusive artifacts. That'll be a pain. I wonder if I can swap them for Apex points. Um, so yeah, that's the update. It looks good. Really interested in, in the live PvP. Didn't see it coming at all. So that will be good. Um, like I said, I'll put up a time and we'll have a look at streaming some of it and we'll jump in and we'll have a look and see what happens. We'll go, we'll go live and we'll do it blind. Um, okay, thank you very much. Just a, a quick one there on what's happening with the update. It's coming out. So yeah, watch out. And if you're about on UK 8, 9 o'clock or something like that, pop over on Friday and we'll have a look at it or I might do a Saturday stream and yeah, we, we, we'll see and have a play around together and you can see what's in action. The, the only issue is it's nice to have updates and it's nice to do them on the Forerunner and you give us some information on when you're going to do the app review is going to be done so we can actually know when we're going to get updates on the global server because it's nice to see this stuff. It looks like the game's moving in a good direction. That's all brilliant but you haven't updated global. And this is just more salt, I think, into the wounds, particularly as you're not stating when or how or if ever it's going to be done. It just seems to be dragging on and on and on. And we don't get any news. So fantastic for Forerunner. Another, yeah, another good kick in for the global server is what you could have had. Right. Thank you very much. That's me done. I am uh, going to do some editing, chuck this up, and we've got Lord of Sticks to do as well. Right. So I'll see you again in video again soon. Cheers for your time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.